Hi, it's me. Is everything okay? Yeah, it's fine. Yeah. It's not too late, is it? Oh, no, no, Michael's kind of restless, so I'm just walking him around the room telling him about my day. You think he's getting sick? Well, you know, he misses Carly, and uh, plus he's cutting a tooth, aren't you? Oh. Well, I'm, I don't want to keep you. No, 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 wait, you don't, you don't have to hang up. Michael likes it when I'm on the phone with you. How does he know it's me? Ah, uh, thank you, Michael. By the sound of my voice. <laughs> so, why don't you tell me what you did tonight? Oh, it's, uh... It's not very exciting. Well, it will be to us. Okay, well, I didn't feel like cooking, so I ordered from this new place, this chicken place, La Hill Uh-huh. They had a special tonight. Two pieces and two sides. It was so good. Are you coming by tomorrow? Yeah, first thing in the morning. Good. Well, look, I better hang up. Michael's getting hungry. Okay. Will you give him a big kiss for me? Okay. And give yourself one, too? I won't do it, but I know what you mean. Okay. Good night. I miss you. I miss you, too. Bye. you tell me you were coming? Because I didn't know until I turned off my light and tried to go to sleep. It's okay if I spend the night? Yes. And tomorrow night, too? Yeah, why not? And the night after that and the night after that. I want to live with you. Do you think that could work? Brenda called this place a prison once. And in some ways, she's right. There's guards all the time. There's meetings that have to be kept secret. There's phone lines that no one can ever answer but me. I know. I, I see this every day as it is. I, that's right, you do. But then you get to take a break from it. You get to go home to a nice, private, quiet cottage with a roommate who's never there. Okay. I don't intend to be a prisoner here. I'm still going to go to school and to work, and to the cottage. The only difference will be that I don't have to leave you at night. What about your Uncle Mac? He'll hate it, and he'll deal with it. But Robin, I would love you to live with me. You know that. I just want you to be sure. Every time I walk out your door, I feel like I'm leaving my life behind. I wake up sometimes in the middle of the night and reach out for you. Or I think I hear Michael on the baby monitor. And it, it just feels wrong. I belong with you, and that's where I want to be, always. You know, having you here is something so good I could never allow myself to want it. Well, maybe I wanted it enough for both of us. Michael sleeps with this. If I move him, he can wake up. I can't think of anything I'd like better. Good. First thing in the morning, I'm going to have Vinny and Francis pick up your things. Oh, I can pack myself. It's a lot of stuff. Well, we have <laughs> a lot of room. Not in here. What do you think about moving into the big bedroom? 
You mean Sonny's? Formerly Sonny's. Come on, it's closer to Michael's room, and there's a lot more closet space. I know, but Sonny still has a lot of stuff in there. We can move it. Look, I know it's hard, but maybe it's time you gave up on the idea he's coming back. Is that what I'm doing? His toothbrush is still in the bathroom. I know, Robin, but this was Sonny's home. It doesn't seem fair to pretend that he was never here. But he gave it to you. Now it's ours. <laughs> he loves this, doesn't he? Yeah, morning time is his favorite. Michael, Robin is going to be living with us from now on. So she'll be here every morning to play with you. Well, that is if you don't mind. Oh, he won't mind at all. <laughs> He's got this, uh, this record of kids' songs mm -hmm. that Bobby bought. Up, and every time he hears it, he smiles. And that's what it's going to be like having you here. I love you. I love you, too. So, Michael, what do you want to do today besides <laughs> chew on a duck? Huh? Do you want to go to the park? Yeah. Mm -hmm.